So you've made the perfect YouTube video, you spent hours scripting, filming, and editing, and you've hit upload, and now nobody's watching? What the heck? If this is you, it's time to master your titles and your thumbnails. And if we're just meeting, my name is Woody, and this video is part of our YouTube starter kit, which, by the way, you can actually get our whole YouTube starter kit completely free. I've got a link in the description below. It is loaded with crucial tips and strategies to help you explode your view count and your subscriber count to grow your channel. So go ahead and check out the link in the description below. If that sounds like something that would help you with your YouTube goals, absolutely free, my gift to you. So now let's talk about titles and thumbnails. Titles and thumbnails are the packaging of your YouTube video. They are the only thing that the viewer sees before they decide to click and watch other than maybe the first few seconds of your video if the video does start to autoplay. Therefore, they are the first thing that you should try to improve if you're struggling with a low view count. Now, click-through rate or CTR is the only metric in YouTube analytics that you need to track in order to gauge the effectiveness of your titles and your thumbnails. It's simple. If the viewer likes your thumbnail and title more than the other ones that they've looked at, they're going to click. CTR is shown in your analytics as a percentage, and it is essentially your number of views divided by your number of impressions. And an impression is just when a viewer sees your title and thumbnail. So if 10 viewers are scrolling through YouTube and 10 viewers all see your title and thumbnail, that is 10 impressions. Now let's say that one of those people actually goes ahead and clicks on your video, then that is a one in 10 click through rate, and that will be shown to you as 10% which by the way is amazing. So the bottom line is more clicks equals a higher click through rate. And I say that thumbnails are more important because a thumbnail is the attention grabber. The thumbnail is the first thing that will actually stop a YouTube viewer from continuing to scroll. And it's for this reason that I think you wanna put more effort into your thumbnails. And here are just a few ways that we can do that. Try to tell a story with your thumbnail. They say that a picture is worth a thousand words, so you actually wanna use this picture to try to tell a story of what is inside the video after they click. And generally, if you're going to include words in your thumbnails, you wanna use four words or fewer. Now, there are exceptions to this rule depending on your niche, but I would say that keeping the number of words in your thumbnails to four words or fewer is just a general rule of thumb. And if you thought that joke was corny, please use your thumb to smash the like button on this video. Next up, let's talk about faces. Okay, so our brains are wired to see faces, to recognize faces, and to respond emotionally to faces. If you've spent any amount of time browsing YouTube, you've probably seen a lot of thumbnails with a lot of faces making a lot of crazy expressions. And there is a reason for this. You see, thumbnails with faces tend to perform better than thumbnails without faces. Now, if you're going to put your face in the thumbnail, do it right, make sure it is nice and big and bright, and try to use your face to convey some kind of emotion. And that could be a happy emotion, an excitement emotion, a scared emotion, a worried emotion, a confused emotion. It could be literally any emotion, but the more emotion in your face, the more someone is likely to respond to the thumbnail or at least stop scrolling so that they'll go on and read your title. And there's a little bit of psychology about how we connect to one another through our eyes. So make sure that your eyes are as big and bright as possible without looking totally weird in your thumbnail. But the bigger and brighter that they are, the more someone might feel drawn into your thumbnail. And generally speaking, you wanna use bright colors, complementary colors, or contrasting colors in your thumbnail. Colors are very powerful and people have feelings based on the colors that they see. So use your colors to tell a story or evoke an emotion. One example might be fire and ice to signify bad versus good, or you might have red and green to signify stop and go. Also keep in mind, there's something called the rule of thirds. And basically you wanna break up the top, middle and bottom, and then left, middle and right into thirds in your thumbnail and just kind of keep things balanced. You can put three things in there on the left, middle and right, or top, middle and bottom. You can use a progression from left to right to tell a story. But more important than any rule is just a general sense of balance amongst the whole thumbnail so that everything feels right when you look at it. Now, moving into titles, you wanna pretend that your titles are like headlines in a newspaper. You wanna keep these short and under 50 characters. Now, when it comes to titles, clear is better than clever, but even clever is okay as long as it's not confusing. If people get confused, they aren't gonna click. They're just gonna keep scrolling. That being said, there is a way to inspire curiosity in the mind of your viewer without being confusing to them. But if you can open some kind of curiosity loop with your title and thumbnail, that will lead them into clicking the video because they'll need the answer to that curiosity. They need to close that loop in order to feel peace. Also, when crafting your titles, consider who your ideal viewer is and try to use words and language that are natural to them, to their 
demographic, their psychographic, their generation, or where they are geographically, anything that would make sense to them. And remember that your title should complement your thumbnail. So if the thumbnail has them thinking, huh, I wonder what this is about, then your title needs to answer that what while also maybe opening a curiosity loop, enticing them to click. And when appropriate, mention trending topics or famous or trending people in your title, but only if those things are actually relevant to the video that you've made. Now take all of that information and let it simmer, but here is the golden rule for titles and thumbnails, and that is to not mislead your viewer. Clickbaity titles are okay, but only if they actually depict what your video is about. And moving past the title and thumbnail, you want to always confirm your title and thumbnail within the first 10 to 15 seconds of your video. Now, if you are watching this video, I would imagine that you're trying to grow your YouTube channel. And if that's the case, I want you to go down to the video description right now and click the link to get your free YouTube starter kit. We're gonna send you exactly five emails over the course of five days, and they are loaded with crucial tips and information that are gonna help you grow your channel, explode your views, and massively increase your subscriber count. So go ahead and click that link. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you all for watching.